Hello everyone, welcome back to CG Explores. We are Charlotte and Corey, and for this vlog, we have come down to the south coast of Cornwall to explore the beautiful town of Loo. Located 20 miles west of Plymouth, Loo is a popular seaside destination characterised by its river that splits the town in two. For those visiting Cornwall, Loo makes for a fantastic day trip combined with the nearby village of Polpero, which we will also be sharing in this video. We're just having a little walk now through the main town area and it does remind me a little bit of Foy, another small town on the south coast, but it's much bigger here. But a quick glance at the landscape, it is familiar to Foy, that it's all built on the hills going down to the river. It's very picturesque, very pretty. We parked at a short stay car park at the far end. There's a few around the town and we are just walking now towards the coast, towards Lou Beach. It's so nice to be out traveling yeah. again. I feel like it's been weeks, weeks since we've been out. The weather has just been horrible here. And we've had a really, really bad summer in the UK. But September has arrived and we have a little bit of sunshine. So we're making the most of it. It is the Indian summer that everyone hopes for and it is here in Cornwall. So we're out enjoying it again. Loads of lovely boutique stores. These are cute. I like the lobster, the blue lobster. <laughs> Looks like the tide is going out. It's flowing so fast down here. Then up on the top, there's just all the kids like catching crab, putting it in the bucket. But we're slowly making our way to the beach, but it's so beautiful around here. All these gorgeous houses up here just looking down a um, few tourists around it's definitely like a tourist town but it's not it's a nice balance between tourism and still very traditional um, Cornish towns and villages um, really lovely interesting that Lou used to be two towns used to be East and West Lou and they had their own like mayors from here and now it's one combined town but mm, didn't know that let's go here to the beach, to the beach. So for a lot of people who come from up country or out of Cornwall, this is one of the first stops as you enter the county, Lou. A lot of people have been asking for a guide to Lou, so that's why we're here today. Um, just up the coast of that way, about 20 miles on, is Plymouth, and that is just on the other side of the Tamar River, which is Devon. Um, but this is Lou, first stop in Cornwall, and we've got beautiful coastline and a beach. Oh yeah, loads of cute little rock pools that are forming because the tide's going out. I can see loads. This is a fun place to come if you've got kids or if you're big kids like us and just like exploring around the cliffs. There's a little walkway built around the cliffs actually that is easy to access at low tide, which is really handy. Really fun, you can spend a whole day here. Well, this is the main large rock pool here. It's a little bit murky because the water quality of the beach today is not that great. There is actually a sign at the front saying that. so. Um, I wouldn't be putting my head under, but in this little rock pool, you can definitely cool off and you can walk all the way around to the next village at low tide. You can get all the way around there along the beaches and along the rocks, really cool. Good for exploring, which is what we like. Not as much sand on this one, but once the tide is out, there's loads of areas to explore. Um, this one hasn't got like a lifeguard surface here, so it's not as popular, obviously, because there's not actually much space for people to sit compared to the other beach. This is East Lou Beach, but I can see I think a big tidal pool. Yeah, a lot of areas to explore here, keep you occupied all day. We have come to the courtyard, um, a lovely little cafe with this gorgeous outside area. We just happened to walk past and it looked like it's fairly new here. Um, really nice place, like really nice setting. So this is gonna be our lunch spot for the day in Lou. Well, very satisfied. That was a lovely little find that we came across in town. And we definitely recommend it. So pop to the courtyard for your lunch. Very nice little place. Great vines surrounding you, tomato, um, peas, like all that, these veggies and flowers growing around you in the courtyard. Delicious food and lovely staff. And some dairy-free ice cream and it's made my day. Mmm, mint chocolate chip too, what a treat. Oh, 
Well, that's been lovely, but we're gonna go grab the car now because we want to go and have a little drive around the bay and have a look at Lou Island. And then I think we're gonna go and also check out Paul Perro. So we hope you pop her, yeah, really excited to go there. It looks like a beautiful picturesque village. Let's go. You see all the people looking like little ants currently crossing to go over to Lou Island. Usually you wait till low tide and it's completely clear. I think we're about under an hour now till low tide, so they're still wading across, but it looks really cool. If you've seen pictures of St. Michael's Mount, it kind of reminds me of that, but obviously not with a castle. As well as exploring the island, it is just such a beautiful little serene spot to pull up for a picnic. A lot of people have brought their little umbrellas down in their camping chairs, and they're just taking a little seat on this grass area here, overlooking the island, and it's so flat out there on the south coast today. There's a little inlet over here which people are just swimming around in. It's really beautiful. But we are going to press on now because we want to see Polpero before we leave. Usually these are two towns that you combine on a trip to Cornwall because they're so close together, so let's go. Very expensive car park. Six pounds for up to three hours. That's the minimum you can get. And it's cash only, so they have a little change machine. We've got five pounds, and you scramble around the car to make another pound. <laughs> Okay, so you are not allowed to drive your car down into Polpera unless you have a reservation at one of the accommodations you're staying in town. Otherwise, you've got to walk from the main car park, which is what we are doing right now. It is 750 metres, so quite a little walk down. Uh, we are hoping that it is going to be very much worth it when we get there. And it is nearly three o'clock, so I'm hoping a lot of places aren't shut either. Got a pasty. We're going to share it to keep us going. But we're just exploring this little village and it is absolutely living up to expectations. We're actually in the valley, so we're kind of going through the valley and either side of us, it's beautiful woodland and there's a stream running through. It is very fairy tale, idyllic like. It's described as a historic fishing village and yeah, definitely that. It ticks all the boxes. Right, so we're going to go to the coast, we're going to have a look at the harbour and I think there's a little rock pool as well. We're going to find that. Right, we're on a little mission now to find the tidal pool. Uh, I got told by one of the artists here to go past the Three Pilchards pub and then up Chapel Steps, which is up this way. Charlotte, <laughs> we're going up Chapel Steps. All right, this will do as a very good spot for our little pasty picnic. There's a seagull eyeing me up though. The coast looks amazing. The water is so flat and there's beautiful sunlight on it. It looks end of the world, isn't it? Looking out to the horizon. Well, we have found the rock pool and it looks absolutely divine in this beautiful secluded area here in Polpero. Um, I don't have my swimmers. I left it in the car and it's like just under a K away, so I'm not going to go back. Pretty good, but I think Corey's going to take one for the team and pop in there. Check this spot out. It's so good. You got this huge wall. It's kind of hidden from the path until you get right next to the edge. And uh, it's just this beautiful little spot. The girl who had the jewellery store up in the main town. Um, she told me how to get here, so good little local tip there. I love those. And then down here, it looks like this would be prime seal spotting territory. Heaps of seaweed for them to hide in. Um, it's a shame we haven't got our snorkel and stuff, but we didn't think we were going to go for a swim. But this is just magical. Such a good spot. Well, that was so nice in there. It's like such a good little spot underneath these like really angular looking 
It's like nearly like a chapel. I think, is it called Chapel Rock Pool? Chapel Pool, yeah. It does feel like a chapel, just like with the angle of this big rock behind you. Uh, it's not very big, but it's really nice in there. It's nice temperature at the moment. It's been in the sun all day, so it's warmed up a little bit. And uh, it's just a perfect spot to come on your summer holiday if you're here in Polperro. The tide is coming in now here into Polperro Harbour which is actually super nice and perfect timing for us because when we got here it was low tide um, but now this beach is disappearing and it's going to go past into the storm gate and that's like the really really well protected little Polperro Harbour. What I really really like about Polperro uh, is that it's got these huge, I think they're pine trees up on the hill, which I guess maybe stabilize the ground a little bit with their roots and everything. And you've got these houses that just are dotted all up in the hill there. It's a really unique little village. And the harbor is, I haven't seen one like that before with the huge storm gate. It's a special little place. I don't think there's many residents here. It doesn't look like a very big village. Imagine just living here and having chapel pool to yourself every morning. It's a beautiful harbour for jumping off into. I mean, what a great little Cornish village. So if you don't want the drama of the car park, you can just hop on a boat. There's services running every day between Lou, Polpero and Foy. So you can come and have a few hours in the village here and then go back along the coast, either up to Foy or down to Lou. Well, we have fallen into another very beautiful little cafe. Yes, the plantation tea room. Actually, they're open to six, and most places are closed around here, but this was open to six. So we thought we'd pop in here and have a early dinner, really, to round up our beautiful day out in Lou and Polpero. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.